Hello and welcome. We're talking about happiness yet again this morning. How many weeks can we discuss happiness? Probably for the end of eternity. When happiness isn't an option, what do you do? Where do you go? What do you think? Who do you talk to? Thanks for joining me. My name is Dawn Spiegelberg. Of course you know that. You can read that. Bodywise Bodywork is designed to free your mind and elevate your spirit through the process of moving your body. We spend a lot of time talking about happiness and um, what does happiness have to do with bodies and body work? That is a great question. When you're moving your body, your body can uh, put you in an alpha state of thinking, alpha state of mind. And in an alpha state of mind, your body is actively moving and doing something that's already in your muscle memory. So I recommend you do regular walking, uh, even driving, something to get your body moving regularly. If you need help with that, I have some uh, great information from Original Strength that is an easy, quick, uh, three, five, ten minute, however long you'd like, little move your body segment. I'd be happy to share that with you, or you could look it up on originalstrength.net. I believe they're originalstrength.net. So today's content, how can you be happy in the face of unhappiness when there seems to be no option for happiness? Last week, I spoke about my body weight and how I had put on some pounds. And really, um, it's interesting when you think about being in a situation where you're living the results of past choices and how those kinds of things may not be bringing you obvious happiness. So I mentioned that through uh, some trial and error and through some uh, changes in my supplements, I had gained some weight and I have been working to uh, lose that weight and when I look at myself today and I'm actively moving toward the drew, losing the weight option, I'm still carrying some weight and that can be a source of my unhappiness. That could justify me choosing the option to be unhappy. So if I'm unhappy, what happens to the choices that I have to make every day regarding what I eat and how I move and how I attain my goal? So if I'm looking at the results of my past and I'm using that as a marker for how my future choices will be made, I'm not necessarily choosing happiness in that option and I'm not fueling myself to make positive, good choices. Today, my seven-year-old son wanted me to discuss fueling your uh, body. And he's got a great example from baseball. There are a few kids on his team who uh, are real pranksters and it frustrates my son because he's trying to pay attention and focus on baseball. And what he shared with me is that he learned he could take his frustration and his anger at these kids who are teasing him and he can hold on to that for just a brief period of time until he's up to bat. And when he's up to bat, he said he used that frustration as fuel for smacking on that ball. Now, isn't that really amazing? He's seven years old and we've been talking about different principles and uh, love and compassion and happiness and he learned that lesson all by himself. So what if it were possible for you to take the fuel of things that could potentially cause you to be unhappy but wrap them up in a different package and use it to be happy? So what if I took what I see about my current weight which is about 15 pounds over what I'd like, and I'm pretty thin uh, when I like my weight. But what if I used that, uh, that unhappiness, what if I used that dissatisfaction to move me forward to losing the weight? What if I used my potential unhappiness to choose happiness 
in order to make my life change. So I've given you some tips on how to do this already. And uh, those are the tips from Harvard University, Sean Aker on the happiness advantage. We've listed them out five things, right? Uh, write down three things you're grateful for every day. Uh, we've been talking most recently about meditation and quieting your mind and slowing down your thinking. Uh, we've talked about the 10-5 rule and supporting your social network. And next week, we'll talk a little bit more about the exercise piece and uh, the movements that you can do just 10 minutes a day. And all of these things are designed to help you choose happiness when the options are possibly unhappiness. So thanks for joining me today. Remember, you can use all the things in your life that might cause you to feel unhappy and change your perspective and fuel your happiness. Until next time, think head wise, feel heart wise, and move body wise.